Hey you guys, so I'm going to talk about a topic today that I don't typically talk about and I've been called to do this video since about February, the beginning of February I think um, and I've been very hesitant about doing this video. Um, the topic is entities, lower frequencies and the reason why I've been hesitant about doing it is because I do see a lot of focus on it in the spiritual community which is creating fear and one of the most important things like the essence when it comes to dealing with an entity is to come out of the fear frequency and so for only focusing upon it and creating fear around it and you know, the focus on having to, like, if I would get people into frequency of pro having to protect themselves and, and focus on entities and uh, go look for it and, you know, be all focused about it, it would be the opposite of what I would want in a video and it would be no purpose whatsoever uh, on putting it out. Now, the reason why... I was called to do this video in the beginning of February was that there was a period where I saw a huge amount, much more than usual, uh, of entities sort of um, floating in the, in the collective field. Now what I was shown at that time was that there had been, or we were in a period of um, the mass collective purging a lot of uh, emotions, a lot of uh, patterns and a lot of thought forms and there were entities attached to these so once these emotions are being released um, these thought forms these you know whatever they were attached to they are also being released so it was a lot of them around now um, as we what I think is that it's like the most important when it comes to this topic, because yes, the entities exists. Um, I have had my fair share of experience with them in my in the start of my reawakening. Um, if you go into the astral realm, yes, they are present. Uh, you you can meet them. Uh, so what's important is really to have a discernment. It's to be empowered. Whatever you meet, whether it's you know, the highest frequency or the lowest frequency to be in your field, to be present uh, and to be empowered. The only power an entity can have, really, is to be present where you are not. Okay, so in the period we are going into, uh, there will I would not be surprised if there would be more talk about entities in the spiritual field. The reason why is because we are rising rising in frequency. And when we come to a point where we are coming into a frequency which is higher than a low frequency entity is at it will release. We have like it will be felt. It will also be, um, it can be sort of, you know, like a, a battle almost, like from the entity side, because it doesn't want to release, it doesn't want to go, it wants to um, try to convince you of staying in that frequency where it can actually feed off your energy. Now, if uh, okay, how can I explain this the best way? Having discernment is the most important thing. Knowing that the frequency of fear and the frequency of doubt is where they most easily can come in. Um, if you are not, like, if your field is vacant, if your field, if you are not present in your field, that this was what happened to me sometimes in the beginning of my. Uh, reawakening. I was extremely open. Everything can like come through and in, and I did not want to have any 
nothing with this at all to do. Like I, I just, I was not present in my field. I was running away from parts of myself, which keeps obviously parts of my field completely open to whatever to come in. So it, I did have experience with entities that came into my field and I had to remove them. And it was, I mean, it was a good tra training for me because in my work, I, I need to have that discernment uh, and learn from these things. What I want to show with this example is that if you are present in your field, if you are you, if you are authentic, if you dare to be who you are, if you move through your fears, if you move through your doubts, there is no reason to have any like sort of protection and this is my perspective okay this is my experience my perspective this is what i've been taught uh, as well you can take what resonates and you can discard the rest uh, i just want to put this information out for it to be accessible for you and then you do with it what you want okay so um the most important thing is to be you. So when I do videos where I talk about creation, where I talk about coming in contact with your, um, with your life force, when I talk about uh, things like uh, anything related to sacred sexuality, about empowerment, about understanding frequencies like I, I did in the last videos so talking like about the victim consciousness and lucky consciousness and how to um, how to see what's going on not only in the drama and in what's uh, what's happening in a situation and be caught up in all that drama but to un actually understand the frequencies going on underneath it that is because you know when if your focus is on all of that and on creating, on becoming more of you or letting yourself come into this world, that is not like that is what's raising your frequency. And if that is your focus, then the entities will not be a problem. Okay. So that being said, I want it to be very clear that that is the focus, that is the frequency. It's only about frequency. If there is a low frequency coming in and there's a higher frequency there, they can't be in the same place. It's very easy. Now, if in an experience with a lower frequency entity, the first thing is to understand that what it wants is to feed off your energy. It can do that by you staying in a frequency of fear, of doubt, of disempowerment. So the only power an entity has is to make you doubt yourself, is to keep in a frequency of fear, creating confusion. Um, it is making you feel helpless, disempowered, um, that you're completely out of, out of your, your game, your, your power. Those are, I mean, those experiences does not have to be an entity, absolutely not, but those are the frequencies that can be a match to an entity. Okay, so if there is an experience with an entity, where they can sort of hook in is where you have a vacancy in your field. So once you find that thought or that insecurity, that doubt, that, that fear that keeps running and you shift that, it can't be there anymore. That is the way to work with them. And it's the way to understand how really to navigate the, the specter of frequencies that we are moving through until we are in a frequency 
you know, stable where we are on a higher frequency than those entities and it's impossible that they can um, affect us in any way. Remember that the more you embody your consciousness, the more you hold your light, the more you are who you are, the more you stop running from yourself, you will not be a match to experiencing any of it. And it's not either anything to judge if you have an experience or if you know someone who has an experience with it. It's not like they are uh, worse or you're being bad or you've done everything wrong and there's something wrong with you. It's simply a frequency, you learn from it and it will release. The reason why it might be more experiences on a collective level with this, which is the reason why I would not be surprised that there will be more talk about these things in the coming time, is that the more, like the, 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 the quicker we are rising our frequency the mm, on a collective level with all the energies coming in um, the quicker are because everything is quickening uh, we are shifting faster and faster we don't need those whole processes that we needed some things are a process some things shifts really quickly and even the processes are quicker than they were years ago um, and it will continue to shift more and more quickly which means that it can be a more intense experience as well because it's the same amount of energy it's in a shorter amount of time so our experience can be felt more intensely now it's also very very easy to understand what's actually going on with a frequency when we are clearing or purging. I think I've explained this a couple of times uh, before, uh, but I will put this in this video as well, just so you get like the whole picture. Um, because my goal by doing this video is that you feel empowered and that you get, don't get caught up in any type of discussion or um, information that would lead you into any dispower, disempowerment when it comes to these energies. Um, or fear or going around trying to label uh, you know what's an entity and what's not an entity you know in a person with their patterns or whether it's that's going on with yourself or not um, I want you to stay completely in your field to become more empowered which is why I talk about the things I do normally um, but we also always have to stand in our shadows because if we're running away from our shadows we are only hiding from the lower frequencies and denser frequencies we hold within us and all of us have shadows there's nothing to judge there's nothing bad about it it just is it simply is a frequency it's a consciousness and we are raising in frequency and so the lower consciousnesses are leaving our bodies okay this is the work we're doing all of us collectively right now and it's windy. I will do it like this so I hope to, the sound will be okay. Um, now, if, like, when there are a lot of energies coming in, whether it's from the sun, you know, from the cosmos, there are higher frequency coming in, you can see it like pouring clear, pure, beautiful water into, um, like, into the sink or into a, a clogged drain. Okay. On the other side, even though there are this beautiful, pure, sparkling, amazing, beautiful, clear water coming in, on the other side of that clogged drain, when it starts coming through, it will be muddy. It will be, you know, it might be smelly. It might be, you know, it will be anything but the clear, pure water that you poured into the drain. Now, why is that? Does that mean that that water that came in wasn't clear and that it's not in the drain? No, it's only because what was clogged, it's only because what was muddy, what was dense, had to move out. And on the way out, we see it, we feel it, we become aware of it, and we choose to let it go. If we judge it, if we attach to it, if we have resistance 
resistance to it and we start doubting whether what was coming in actually got in because we can't see that in the experience because the intensity of what we see coming out is dense and intense then we can spiral off and it can take more time so know that when these energies are coming in when you are clearing your vessel just like a clogged drain is clearing with pure beautiful water you will see the shadow coming out and this goes for every single person on this planet there's nothing bad about it parts of what is coming out are energies thought forms emotions that has been locked into us that we haven't seen we haven't been aware of and those are what entities might have been attached to so experiences with entities as this is releasing might happen more on a collective level if you see a lot of it going on if you have experience with it uh, if you hear about it remember to stay empowered not go into a loop and spiral of fear and doubt because that is the only power any energy like that can have over you so if you have this awareness you keep doing your work of seeing your shadows as they pop up um, while you are constantly moving with your intention with your creation becoming more of who you are being in integrity that is what keeps raising your frequency the collective's frequency and the change on this planet so i hope this um this is helpful well one more thing before i i i end this video in an experience as well um of going into the astral if you're astral traveling if you're in a meditation or if you are in uh, some specific sorts of uh, healing work for example where there's work being done on you where there's like a field opening or something um, be very discerning as well if there's work being done of who you work with that is there's someone you trust that there's someone um, who who are aware of this so they hold the space uh, clear of these things as well because it might come in um, follow your intuition and have discernment that's all don't go about don't go around again being afraid of all of this just follow your intuition follow um, or have your discernment always and if you go into the astral in a meditation in a travel also be discerning of what energies you engage with and be um, always aware of any energies around it's I know it can feel complicated sometimes, um, absolutely, but it is, it will become more simple. Um, never trust anyone else above yourself when it comes to this. It's your own intuition, your own feeling of anything that you engage with or meet or go into which is your main guidance and your best guidance always. So I hope this can help clear some things up for you. Uh, please share the video if it's, um, if it's resonating for you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to see you guys in the next video. Um, have a beautiful day. Bye bye.